Hey there, welcome to Card Cutters, the show that's all about watching all the TV you want without paying for an expensive pay TV subscription. And on this episode, we're taking a closer look at the iPad app from Boxy. It was just released today. You can do a couple of neat things, and we're going to check it out and see how well it works for Card Cutters. So the Boxy iPad app basically does three things for you. It helps you find great videos to watch on your iPad. It helps you to get local content you already have from your computer to your iPad. And then it also helps you to get all this video goodness and play it back on your TV screen. Um, first of all, I want to show you all this content aggregation and discovery, finding all the good stuff. And if you look at the interface here, it has three rows of content basically. The first one up here on the top is content that your friends have recommended. So what Boxy does for this is basically it connects your Twitter account to your Facebook account and to your Tumblr account if you have one. Then whenever anybody mentions a video there, posts a link to a video, it takes that link and it aggregates it up here. And that's actually a really neat functionality to find these videos and watch them when you have time for it as opposed to kind of losing track of them when you check into Twitter or Facebook. The second row here is stuff that I have marked for watching later. What Boxy offers you is a little bookmarklet. You install it once in your browser. Whenever you surf the web and you like a video, you just say watch later, and then all those videos get aggregated here, and you can also watch them straight on the iPad. The third row is some curated content, some videos that the folks at Boxy thought was worth checking out, and uh, you can also watch them here. And whenever you watch a video, as you can see here, kind of opens the second panel, uh, you can play it here on the iPad, and then uh, it has a little, bit of, a little bit of information about the video as well. So this is the content discovery part of it. What also is interesting about it is playing local content. It's a little bit harder because if you have to synchronize content with the iPad, you have to convert it into the right file format if it's not the right thing, and it's a little bit a challenge sometimes to get all that stuff that you have at home on your hard drive on your iPad. Well, Boxy makes it really easy now they offer you a media manager. It's a little client that you install on your Macintosh computer or on your Windows computer. And then you just fire it up. You tell it where the videos are on your hard drive. You just basically find the folder. And then you go, uh, if I go here to the uh, My Media tab here, I can select my computer, then select the folder that I previously uh, told Boxy about and then play any of these videos. I have a couple of home videos here. I have some stuff that I have downloaded legally, of course. And then if I play it, then you can see that the video is now streamed from my computer to the iPad. And if it was in a format that was, you can also maximize it, of course. And if it was in a format that doesn't work for the iPad, then, I can, then it gets converted on the fly. I don't have to worry about any of these file formats, extensions, any of that Boxy just does it. So those were the two aspects of con finding content and playing local content. Of course, you want to watch all this stuff on your TV as well if you're a card cutter. And Boxy, the Boxy iPad app helps with that as well. If you are a Boxy box owner, if you own one of their devices, we have one right here, you can stream any of the content from here straight to the Boxy box. And if I demonstrate this right now, I can pull up a YouTube video, for example, and I can play it here on the local device. Uh, it loads for a second. But then at any point, I can also select um, the uh, boxy box as the output device. Yeah. There we go. And you see it's going to start loading in the background now. And the very same video starts playing on my boxy box connected to my television. And the neat thing about this is it actually gets streamed straight to the boxy box. The boxy box gets the content straight from the internet. So I don't have to continue to play this. I can just pause it. I could also turn off my iPad, do something else on here, and just watch the video on the uh, TV screen, and then use my regular remote control to pause it at any time. This is a little bit like Apple's AirPlay functionality, which we might have heard of, uh, but it offers this added benefit of uh, you don't have to actually stream this stuff straight from your iPad, but you can do something else with the iPad in the meantime. Speaking of AirPlay, not everybody, of course, owns a Boxy box, but the Boxy iPad application also works if you own an Apple TV, because it does actually include AirPlay functionality, at least for all the content that comes from the internet. So if you have local stuff that you stream from your computer, right now it doesn't work with AirPlay, 
but for all those online videos that you get recommended from your friends, you know, can now use AirPlay as well. Let me demonstrate that really quick too. So I have the same video here and uh, I choose Apple TV as an output and my Apple TV starts playing it in the background. Now it is Apple's AirPlay protocol, so it gets streamed straight from my iPad to the uh, Apple TV and I can again watch everything that I found within the Boxy iPad app on the big screen. So summing this up, I think it's a neat application that you should try out, especially because it's free. If you do own an iPad, just give it a try. Um, there are a couple of other applications out there that already do similar things. There are some that aggregate content from your friends, there's other that stream local content, but this really is the whole package. And that makes it really easy to consume a lot of different video content. Uh, now, it is something that you can use if you don't have a Boxy box. I think it does make Boxy a little more appealing. Maybe it's not the only reason to buy one, but if you've been thinking about it and you're already on an iPad, maybe give the application a try and maybe this is gonna put you over the edge and actually want to buy a box as well. Of course, we would be interested in your opinion on this. Are you gonna use Boxy on the iPad? Are you using other applications to aggregate content or maybe to stream local content to your iPad? Send us all your comments to cardcutters at gigome.com. Get in touch with us on Twitter, we're at Cardcutters, or you can visit our new Facebook page, facebook.com slash cardcutters. And finally, of course, we are always aggregating all these episodes in all the comments and notes on gigaom.com slash cardcutters. So check by frequently because we have a couple of new episodes coming up soon. Until then, see you next time.